Hey everyone, thank you for being with me. I'm your host, Brian. Um, this is the Brian T. Murray uh, YouTube channel, and it's time for another edition of Brian's uh, Bible Study. Amen, amen. Um, uh, you have a good one, but first let, let's jump into prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we, we thank you for, for, for us coming together to learn your word one, one more time, Father. The more we get deeper into your word, the more we see ourselves, Lord. And there's also opportunity for for you to see, for, for us to see ourselves through your eyes, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, and, 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 and we bless you, Lord, and, and, and we ask that, that, that this uh, um, uh, lesson that, that comes forth today be, be strong and powerful, Lord, uh, uh, that, 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 it may, that it may be the seed of life-changing results, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. We're in Mark 11. Yes, the favorite chapter of Oral Roberts and uh, John John Hagen, Pastor Pastor John Hagen. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it it, it was like, can y'all teach anything other than Mark 11? <laughs> well, of course they, they they can, but I mean, it, it it's it's. When, when, when you come across a powerful truth in the kingdom of God, see, pe people people like sermons a, 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 as if it, it's like the movies. It's like, okay, next. <clears throat> okay, what what else do you have? And it's like, no, no, no. We, we, we're, we're, we're going to keep going through Mark 11, you know? And it's, um, yeah, man. Because if you really understood Mark 11, I don't believe the world will, will look like the way it does today. Okay? I mean, us as the people of God, we have yet to separate ourselves from our brothers and, and, and sisters who don't believe in God. We, we have yet to, to, to say, we, we do it in attitude. <laughs> we, we, we do it in language or, or by our slurs, but, but, but no, we're, we're, we're not we have not profoundly separated ourselves. And, and why is that? It's because of the way we believe. Because of the way we uh, believe. So we will be going through this uh, thoroughly. And I don't know, start in verse one of Mark 11. And when they came nigh to Jerusalem, unto Bethridge and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent forth two of his disciples and said unto them, Go your way into the village over against you. And as soon as ye enter into it, ye shall find a colt tied whereon never man set. Loose him and bring him. And if any man say unto you, Where do why do ye this? Say ye that the Lord has need of him. And straightway he will uh, send him hither uh, I I remember when uh, the God Godfather preached from from these first three verses about the the uh, the uh, the uh, ass cult we pay attention to what Christ is getting ready to deal with in terms of His suffering, his death, his his crucifixion, and his re re resurrection, preparing his disciples for for that as much as possible, preparing for Judas and, and, and his play up. But we overlook the ass cult. The ass cult is representative of anyone or anything or any circumstance that God has prepared for His purpose. It it's it's over here. But it's prepared for whatever God sees fit. Jesus is soon about to be ushered into Jerusalem for the very first time. This is the man that they have to have taught the kingdom of God, have 
So proof of, of, of the kingdom of God via miracles. And this is what he re requires. A situation that no one knows about. Many people have overlooked. But when it's time for it to be used for its purpose, it's time to, to be used. Sometimes the as cold is, is us. You, you've been going through through your life uh, un unappreciated, but don't don't worry. The time will come. <laughs> the time will, will come where you will be right in, right in the thick of it, and you just can't even understand how how did all this happen. I re remember years ago hearing uh, Pat Pastor Cheryl Brady on a gospel channel, and um, the host asked her. So, so I understand that that, that, that you and TDJs came came up to, together. You knew things were going to be good, but did you think it was going to be this good? And she was like, "Absolutely not." <laughs> she knew the Lord w was going to bless them, but not like what it's like now, you know. So, it is amazing, man. I I I, I just I just I just gained so so much encouragement from that. It's like, no, you you know. It's going to end well, but but you just have, have no idea just how well it's going to end. So that's really cool, man. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and verse four. And they went their way and found the coat tied by the door with, with, without in a place where two ways meet. Wow, that is deep, man. In a place where two, two ways meet. Two ways meet. Two certain circumstances. Two situations here and there something that is reserved for the lord as as i just mentioned that that cult is sometimes us where two ways meet not even touched or tampered with no no one sat on us or used us or utilized us or whatever but now is actual time it, it is actually the time for us to be on the uh, main set. And certain of them that stood there said unto them, What do ye loosen the, the cult? And they said unto them, Even as Jesus has commanded. And, and, and they let them go. And they brought the, the, the cult to Jesus and cast their garments on him. And, and he sat upon him. And spread their garments uh, all right, before going go there. So to, to, to those who say, well, why would he use a ass cult? It's because, easy. Because that was the common mode of transportation. That's why. See, you, you think Jesus would uh, come around in, in a motor barricade and bulletproof and 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 all i mean we we, we saw here in 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 in, in, in the east coast in, in dc where where uh, the pope was here just what maybe four four or five years ago and how things were affected by him going through that i mean that was crazy you know but jesus traveled jesus see people didn't even know what jesus looked like who who did who wasn't in, in his meetings? Okay, when when Judas got the Roman soldiers, they said we need you to, to, to point him out to us because we don't know what he looks like. Jesus was a regular guy, but yet he was still a king. The cult was the regular mode of transportation. So he chose the regular mode. See, Jesus isn't looking for, for things to make him seem like a king. Look at the security that, that is saying, I am a king, so I don't have to prove anything. I don't have to prove anything. <laughs> the only thing I have to prove is the kingdom of, of God. And I do that by, by teachings and, and, and miracles. But Jesus within himself, I no, no. That that's that, that that's why Jesus reacted to a compliment. In a strange way, he's like, what you say about me doesn't change how I feel about my, myself. <laughs> when when someone gives you a compliment, oh, thank you, oh, you know, I I, I was wondering if anyone ever noticed or whatever. And, and, uh, that wasn't Jesus. 
That wasn't Jesus. Jesus is I am that I am. That's Jesus. <laughs> the way you see him doesn't affect how he how he sees himself or how he feels a, 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 a about himself. Jesus is stubborn about who he is, <laughs> which is a good thing. He is stubborn. He's like, I am the same today. I I am the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. <laughs> I am the uh, same. This is the notion we use towards something that's called character. Character, the letter A is the same thing in our country every single day. So the letter A, whatever your culture is, what whatever your country is, it is the same thing every day. So when the Lord is trying to work on our character, he's trying to get it to be the same in a good way each and every day. That's why it's called character. Amen. 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 And many, in verse 8, and many spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches off the trees and straw them in the way. And this, this is where you get the new garments on Easter and uh, palm trees. It's, it's, it's like, is that what you got from that? You know, we, we, we spend a lot of energy f focusing on Jesus' birthday. It's like, how can a God be born? <laughs> if God is born, you want you think he wants you to focus on the fact on the day he was born? Do you really think that? That is, that is so stupid to me. Do you think? It? See, we focus, we, we try to make God the way we would make ourselves. If I was God, my birthday would, would, would be a world's holiday. That That's so humanistic. Jesus brought absolutely zero attention to the actual date that he was born. It was only the fact that he was born. If anything, he brought more attention to his death than he did his birth. And then the way we make it seem, we, 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 we make it seem as if Jesus ne never existed but before he, he was born in, in, in human form. It's just, you make everything about you, but yet you put it in God's name. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying. Uh, it is so annoying. That, that's... That's what your uh, wife and, and mother do, do, does uh, to you, right? They will come up with with an idea. They make you think it's your idea <coughs> and make it think as if it, it benefits to totally you when it totally benefits them. You see all, 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 that, all that sneaky stuff, man? It, it's like, look, Jesus made absolutely no mention of the day of his birth. It was only the significance of it. Well, we ought to focus on this. No, no. Christmas has never brought about millions and millions of people getting saved. No, no, no. Their main focus is gifts. <laughs> That's their main focus. Gifts. Maybe family, but gifts. It's about what you want. Mm. Uh, I was the, the 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 last part part of this um, in, in 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 terms of ta uh, palms. I was uh, in in someone's someone's truck and and, and, I, and I think we're headed to a funeral or, or something. And 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 like I see all all of these little tree stuff, leafy stuff on their dashboard. I was like, so uh, what's this? Oh, that is a uh, uh, palm palms palms as in palm trees. And yeah, for for Palm Sunday, but like it was like in the dead middle of winter. Like, so wait, you you have this on your dashboard year round? I was like, yeah. 
Because this is like a good luck charm to you, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Like, so wait, you're, you're, you so Jesus isn't enough? You, you, you gotta have this extra display of, this. it is just crazy. It, there's nothing wrong with it. I, I, I'm, I, I'm just saying it's like, y'all, y'all, y'all doing too much, but yet not enough of the right thing. You're doing too much, but yet not enough of the right thing. It is crazy. Anyway, in verse 9, And they that went before, and they that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of, of the Lord. Blessed be the kingdom of our father David, that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And Jesus entered into Jerusalem and into the temple. And when he looked around about upon all things, and now, even in time was come, he went out unto Beth Bethany with the uh, twelve. Looked around. Then he left. T.D. Jakes pointed out that Jesus only visited Jerusalem two times. And like, you, you know, <laughs> when he first said that, I thought that was fascinating. But when you prepare for, for, for this weekly, as I do, it's like, yeah. Jesus didn't really hang out in, in Jerusalem. It's because Jerusalem was the center of contention for him. So no, he 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 slept in Bethany at, in, in, in this particular stretch. In verse 12, and on, on the morrow, when, when, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, ah, I'm hungry. He came. If haply he might find any thereon. But when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the times of figs was not yet. Now, for years that verse confused me, but as, as an older adult, it makes more sense. Hmm. Here's something unique there's leaves on a fig tree. During a time that is not supposed to have leaves. So you, so you caught my a, a attention. So I walked all the way over here. And you're still not what you show yourself to be. This is unnatural. This is unnatural. Yeah. It's much like have, being clergy and not having a clean life. This is unnatural. This is much like being a a, a, a woman and, and, and you having uh, uh, relations with another woman. <laughs> this is unnatural. This is unnatural. This is this is like you being a doctor, but yet you you reek of the smell of smoke. This is unnatural. To most people, that is one of the dumbest things. It's like you're a smoking doctor, like. You you don't even practice what it is you teach. You're you're a smoking doctor. <laughs> and Jesus answered and said unto it, "That's so powerful." I remember when when when, when Cruffalo years ago he broke that down. Jesus answered a fruitless tree. Answer. You can't answer something unless it speaks back to you. So, so, so some of you hearing this, you think you, you think that's very bizarre. It's not. Think about how your empty bank account has talked to you over the years. Think about when your empty refrigerator and your empty cupboards <laughs> is agreeing with you about how hungry you are. Think about when, when your car, the gas tank is on E. And, and, and the car agrees with you and say, you're not going to make it. <laughs> yeah. Things speak. We, we, we think it's only people. Everything speaks. Everything speaks. And this is what this verse brings out. Everything speaks. You're, you see your life totally different. Your life in your mind is totally different than how it is in your regular life. And it's like a totally different thing. That's why you're so upset. 
And Jesus answered it. How can you answer it? Because it spoke back. And said unto it, No man shall eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I am the king of glory. And you made me walk over here to draw fruit from you. And you have produced no fruit. This is what this is how God feels about his children that have produced no fruit. No, you work nine to five, but you have produced no fruit. Well, what do you mean fruit? Fruit is what comes from you naturally that other people can consume. It's called content. It's called content. Now, I know when I say con content, you only think in terms of TV and radio. No, no. Content is whatever you produce. Tangible or intangible. Content. This is why you are broke. I had I had a very underwhelming conversation with uh, someone of uh, 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 faith. And um, they were saying how much they, they really enjoy their, 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 their job. They, they said they really enjoy the fact that, you know, they look forward to having a set amount in their account. They work nine to five, and and, and like I, I'm just stunned. I'm like, you sound like a moron. You sound like a moron, okay? Because you have accepted the bare minimum. You have accepted it. You don't just think it's good because it is good. You have accepted it, as in, I like it. I like only being on first base. <laughs> first base is awesome. No, no, no. First base is the first step. To, to a whole picture of things for you to do and, and uh, go through. I like it. I like having a set amount in, 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 in my account. It's like, again, much like Christmas and Palm Sunday, you made it about you. You have not considered the fact that the world needs what God has blessed you with. The world needs it. But because you are trying to go through life comfortable and unbothered, comfortable and unbothered, this makes you irrelevant. Because you, 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 you're putting yourself above the actual gift. When Jesus fed the 5,000, have y'all ever thought about how hungry that, that, that the disciples might be? Jesus was intentionally preparing them for leadership. He was intentionally preparing them for, for leadership, letting them know this is how it's going to be. You are, you must be the bearers of the first fruits. That doesn't mean you get to partake. So you cause 15,000 people to calm down and sit down on this freshly made grass that I made and break them up in groups. This is work because he was teaching them process. He was teaching. We focus on the miracle. See, all Jesus did was blessed. The actual miracle happened in the hands of the d disciples. Because as they're, they're taking in the baskets, more kept coming out. It wasn't like, oh, we got... All these different units of, of, of food, of, of lunches to, to give out, let's hand them out. No. Their supply came as they continued to work. I have uh, about 200, 200 videos. The supply comes from the Lord, not me. <laughs> the supply comes from the Lord, strictly from, from the Lord, not me. So, so... We are in a time where people want, I, I, I heard it this week, I forgot who, who said it, it is, it is a name for it, it is a theory, but, but, but basically it is, we want the absolute most by putting the absolute little as possible towards it. You want great results, but little work. It does, no, it, it, it doesn't work that way. That's not life, no. 
And verse 15, and, and, and they come to Jerusalem, and Jesus went into the temple and began to cast out them that sold and bought in the, the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that, that, that the sold doves. He is taking possession of his house. And he would not suffer that any man should carry any vessel through the, the this this is Jesus by himself. The, the this is Jesus by himself. This is his, his disciples. His disciples were concerned concerned about being identified with, with him by the religious leaders. They they were concerned by, by that. Jesus, what well, was not? Why? Because Jesus is Jesus. Your your opinion of him doesn't move him no way or the other. So, um, Jesus would, would not uh, uh, suffer uh, them to carry any vessels through the, the uh, temple. And he taught, saying unto them, it is not written, my house shall be called, uh, my house shall, shall, shall be called of all nations the house of prayer, but you have made it into a den of uh, thieves. And the scribes and the chief priests heard it and sought how they might destroy him. For they feared him because of all the people was astonished at his, his uh, doctrine. They're like, look, if you really want to mess up a system, mess up someone's economics. If you really want to mess up a system, mess up someone's e economics. So to my singles, I want you to, to realize Every other group in existence benefits from black people who are unable to marry. We are the most un unmarried race in the world. You want to think, well, that, that is a generational thing. We had slavery. We were the most married people doing, doing slavery. And and uh, thanks to 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 uh, Pat, Pat, uh, Mr. Hennett that um sh shot me the, the the video number one I already knew that but 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 I saw the the, the video of of, of, of uh, Dr. Umar Johnson who was breaking that down for the the the, uh, the uh, Breakfast Club. No, slavery did not make us unmarried. <laughs> no, no, no. What makes us unmarried is your unreal unrealistic expectations. That is what makes us married. Your 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 disagreeableness, your your lack of willingness to cooperate. That is what makes you unmarried. Cause when a man likes what he likes, he will gravitate towards it no matter what. You can't stop him. You can't stop him. Unless you turn into something that he doesn't like, <laughs> that will repel him every time. Statistically, black men like women with natural hair. But if you like lace front weaves and wigs and baby doll eyelashes and this clown makeup, how? Men don't like that. So so you're telling him, this is who I am, accept me who, who, who I am. And the man, especially the millennials and, and, and zennial generations, they're like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Every other race can do their, their natural hair. Now, now, now look, extensions is, 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 is fine. That's something you're just adding on. But, but, but a full out helmet you, you, call, you call a wig is basically missing a, a, a chin strap. Okay, no, no, this, this, this is a uh, crazy, you, you are, you are making it about you and wonder and, and, and got the nerve to go to every other women's conference. Lord, send me a man. You have over spiritualized something that is so practical. What do you want? What do you want? And then. After a man tells you, are you willing to give it to him? Over spiritualize a natural decision. Over spirit. God is involved, but you have over spiritualized. Over spiritualized. 
I was uh, telling Mario father over, over over dinner when 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 Eleazar went to um, find a wife for Isaac. That was a practical situation, but the angel of the Lord was the the, the angel from, from I'm sorry the angel from from God was with them, so it wasn't a a 100% spiritual thing, but God what was involved. But it was a practical thing that you got to walk out. But the way you made it is that that's that's like getting hired for a job and doing everything opposite from what they want. And then praying to, to God it's like, Lord, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand, Lord. They keep getting mad about me showing up uh, to work late. I don't understand. <laughs> I was talking to someone in passing at at one of our movie nights for uh, singles uh, on uh, the uh, church lawn, and like she mentioned something about off the she 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 mentioned something about living right around the the corner, but often being late. I was like. Wait, you live right around the corner from your job and you're often late. I forget exactly what, what I said, but like I said so, something that a man would, 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 would uh, say. And like she was like, oh, that's deep. That might be a word from, from uh, the Lord. Like, you, 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 are, you are in another world. You are in another world. You are in another. When it comes to you doing practical things, you try to make it spiritual. It's not. It's not because the society doesn't let that work for a man. Society has a way of letting a man know, step it up. You're a loser. You're not doing e e e e e enough. Okay. You're not providing. You you know. Society has ample ways of letting a man know that he's inadequate but for a woman that's not used to being uh, accountable for basic stuff when you say anything to her she's like huh this is a foreign idea what C come on Tom what what is that crazy 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 So, so the, 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 the scribes see this and Jesus is messing up their e economics. So I uh, got on this uh, topic about uh, women not, not getting their, 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 their outcomes is because people are thriving off of the fact that, that, that millions of you are unmarried. Statistically, uh, men handle money better than women. <laughs> I, I I know very un, 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 unpopular. Sixty-seven percent of women uh, have a portion in the one point one trillion dollar student loan debt. Sixty-seven percent. 67% of $1.1 trillion of student loan debt belong to women. And what you're also seeing from this is though they have this 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 student debt, they may even have de degrees, they have a hard time separating a job from a career. When you ask one, women, you, you know how 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 come you're still single? How, how come you? Oh, because I just threw myself in, 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 into my career. So when you tell a man that, he's expecting you to say you are the head of of Comcast or the vice president of, of Disney or something. No, you're you you're making candles. That's, that's, that's not a, no, no, no.
No, that's wait. No, you're a masseuse. You're you're not. No, no, that that's that's not a career. <laughs> no, that's no, that is not a career. But you're talking as if you you couldn't be bothered with with a, being in a relationship. See, this is what other demographics are making billions off of you in terms of travel and resorts, uh, beauty uh, care and cosmetics. It look pe people are making billions off of single black women. Real estate, okay, you're 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 getting houses, but you're getting them by yourselves. <laughs> so the man gets a house, a woman gets a house. We're making money off of two houses <laughs> in the black community, though in the white community we're only making money off of one. Why? Because they're more married. People are making bank off of you. So nothing is disturbed until you disturb their economics. And this is what Jesus is, 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 has done by, by, by throwing out the money changes and not allowing people to, to walk through the temple with uh, vessels is because you're messing with people's economics. When you mess with people's e economics, then they think they have the right to get illegal with you. Amen. And verse 19. And when even was come, he went out of the city. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, Peter calling to remembrance, saith unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursest is withered with away. And Jesus answered, saith unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. They're astonished by the tree you cursed yesterday is now dried up by the roots and not so much that it did it it happened so so quickly so he opens up this discourse by saying have faith in god what you think is bizarre and strange to you is a common effect in the kingdom of god what saying what you desire Yes. Mm. Verse 23. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain. He is putting it. Excuse me. He's making it practical now. Anyone who says I, I'm going to use something that is that is monumental in your minds, in your lives. Mountains. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, whether it be the fig tree, sickness, disease, financial outcomes, or or or, or lack of or, or lack thereof, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith. This is what I wanted to get across. Notice that he's saying say. He's not saying pray. He's saying say. He's not saying pray. He's saying the word say and not pray. Our people only believes in pray. Like, Lord, come down here and do this for me. No. What, what we, we have this... We, we have the faith of a bastard. We're related to God, but not really. No, we are directly related to, to God. The same power that dwells in him dwells in us, believe it or not. I had I had a, a young lady ch challenge this on me. It was like, what? Like, like, like it, it was unfathomable that we possess the same power as God because we get it from him. It's, wait, no, wait, no, God is God, and, 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 and us is us, this is, this is what happens when, when you have generations of not being taught faith properly, all power comes from God, 
when Jesus told, told, told his disciples in another chapter, I give you the kingdom of God, he desires to hand this over to you. That's his, that's his intention, to hand it over to you. And those that receive it shall have it. It's the same principle in what he's showing here. You have to say it first. See, it's because we will pray about something and hope it happens. That's not how that works. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart and shall believe that those things which he shall, he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. That's what Jesus said. Mark 11, 23. That's what Jesus said. Now, why you try to over trivialize simple instructions? You need therapy. That's crazy. That is crazy. He told you how to do it. But yet you don't feel that no, no, that that ain't that ain't right. I I, I hear I hear I hear people saying that, but no, that ain't right. Because remember, we are descendants of slaves. We don't believe things should happen too easily. We don't believe that. Yet we want things given to us. See, we're, we're off kilter. We're off kilter. We have over-spiritualized marriage. We have dumbed down Mark 11, 20, 23. We, 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 uh, we, we, we don't believe that love ought, ought to have a struggle. <laughs> it's like, where did y'all come from? Y'all are the opposite of what reality is. In verse 24, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when you pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Notice from verse 23 to verse 24, notice how saying have a priority over praying. Saying, have a priority over praying. Say it. Say it. What is fascinating to me is that you can't get people to say certain things. But yet, they they will say bad things and condemnation over themselves in a heartbeat. Why? Because that's how, how they are conditioned. Verse 24, again, therefore I say unto you, what things soever... Ye saith, ye, ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. I have things I never even thought I, 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 I would have. I would have things that I, I, I haven't even asked for. Because I believe in the category. I believe in the category. So go back to Matthew 13, 12. What you have, uh, ye shall have and shall have more abundantly. So things are magnetized towards you based on what you have in your spirit. Magnetized based on what you have in your spirit. Hmm. Very important, verse 25. And when you stand praying, forgive. If ye have aught against any, that your father which also in you. So when you trying to accumulate in your spirit, you also got to check the forgiveness. To square away forgiveness, you always don't, don't even have to meet the person. Or con contact them. I remember... Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> I had to for forgive someone uh, that that did me wrong, and like it didn't happen until years later. I, I I was stressed out before God. I was in prayer. It was in the evening time. 
And I was like, Lord, I release this person. I release this person. I release this person. And let me tell you, this person never came back into my, my spirit. Because, because unforgiveness is when you have that person trapped, but you won't let go. They're there because you won't let go. So forgiveness is a benefit to you. It, it's not saying all these other things uh, about them. It's a benefit to you. Lighten your own load. Mm. That your father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. So, 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 yeah. Don't, don't, don't think you are moonwalking through life and and haven't offended God. No, you have, you have. He, he, he just doesn't treat you like, like, like you treat others in how you go about doing it. Y'all, that, 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 verse 23, 24, 25, and 26 is still overrated. Now I understand why Pastor uh, Hagee and, and Old Roberts talk, talk from Mark 11 so much. Why? Because it's so easy. The principle is easy. The hard part is you just have to hold on to it, even if it takes years. Mm. Verse 27, and they came again to Jerusalem. And as he was walking in the temple, there, there come to him the chief priests and the scribes and the elders and say unto him, But what authority doeth thou these things? And he gave the and, and who gave thee the, this authority to do these things? And Jesus answered and said unto him, I will also ask of you one question and, and answer me. I will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John. Was it from heaven or of men? Answer me. And reason with themselves and saying, if we shall say from heaven, he will say, why then did ye not believe him? But if we say of men, they feared the people, for all the men counted John, that he was a prophet indeed. And they answered and said unto Jesus, we cannot tell. And Jesus answered and said unto them, neither do I tell you by what authority I do these things. Amen. 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 That was good, y'all. I mean, I, I just want people to understand. God is not s looking at you the way you think he is. He's not look looking at you and he's thinking, maybe I'll give it to him. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. That That's no. No. You think how you see your, your yourself is how God sees you. No. No. That's why we uh, we continually read the Bible and we go through the Bible together. It's because it gives us the opportunity to, um, wow, I, I'm seeing myself right now. I'm learning about myself right now. <laughs> I'm learning about my, myself right now. And as you do it even more and get deeper into it, oh, this is how God sees me. Yeah. You don't really learn about God. You really learn about your yourself. Amen. Amen. The end. Okay. So I want everyone to go forth on this holiday weekend and, and just enjoy yourselves and just think about some some things y'all I, I i know some some of y'all are, are, are writing your, your your goals out and everything i just wanted to add a video to help you in that process y'all i you know saying saying is priority over praying my, my my first church man they were just so passive aggressive just everything is just passive aggressive it just had a passive aggressive Passive aggressive spirit about everything, which, which explain the outcomes. But they believe in praying about everything, and, and and that sounds fine. But here's the thing: you ain't supposed to pray about everything. <laughs> Some things require action. Action. 
you at you at work and you don't pray about about everything and notice how how, how well you're doing there but yet we we get to church oh no everything's sacred no we have got to pray for 85 days first nope <laughs> that's why the church is so irrelevant in, in a society but before COVID happened st st statistically only 80 I'm sorry only 20% of Americans went to church weekly 20% that means 80% wasn't for whatever reason the church is a dwindling element in our society and that's wrong and that's mainly our fault and that's mainly our fault why because the way your parents did things is not necessarily how it needs to be done it, it was only to start you out each generation is, is supposed to evolve and get better and and, and, and increase and improve okay each generation is supposed to increase and improve having certain conversations about certain things it's like y'all y'all know that's a generational thing right you, you know that doesn't work in any other area in life right what you talking about okay my bad dear heavenly father we thank you for just opening your word we thank you lord for your word mark 11 23 24 25 and 26 Letting us know, saying has priority over praying. We have the authority to tell a mountain to move and to be gathered and to be cast into the sea. Why? Because that's the only place where you can hide a mountain. So we have a power in our tongue to get rid of things neatly. We thank you, Lord. Give us uh, time as we evolve into this kingdom mindset as we continue to, uh, to operate and learn how to use it properly to, to your pleasing, to your pleasing and to your glory. Lord, we thank you. We are just so proud to be your children, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Give, give us traveling mercies, those, those of us who are, who are a traveling father, and bring us home uh, uh, again in our own homes uh, in, in peace and in rest, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank you for this life. Amen. We thank you for this life. Because what is the alternative? We thank you. We're grateful, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Y'all enjoy y'all weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye.